Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today as I continue to rip up my Target Giant Box of 2021 Topps Series 2 Baseball. Um, in my previous video, I opened up the first eight packs. And as you can tell here, I've got another eight packs to go. And um, yeah, the cool thing about these Giant Boxes um, is that they come with these Juan Soto highlight cards which is awesome because Juan Soto is doing crazy good this year he had a slow start um but I think he's batting like above 300 right now he's got like 20 something home runs here I just pulled it up here he is batting 302 with 19 home runs yeah that is super solid here and I think his walk to strikeout ratio is 72 he has 72 strikeouts but 88 walks with a .437 on base percentage, dude, man, um, man, if the Nationals play their cards right, they could be winning another um World Series. I don't know within the next, I don't know, five to eight years, four to eight years. Yeah, Juan Soto is just an absolute beast, man. There's no way Juan Soto is just 22. Dude, because, I mean, just, like, he's just so good. He's got to be, like, 27. <laughs> I, I don't know. not saying the 27-year-olds are better than 22-year-olds. I'm just saying he's just so young. I can't believe he's only 22. And this is his fourth year in the majors. Anyways. But, yeah, um, in the first pack, um, yes, yeah, so a little, <laughs> I already opened up the pack, but a little background story here. I paid 55 bucks for this giant box. I was gonna buy one on Target.com because um, they're selling for forty bucks. I went to Target.com because I was watching these videos of people opening them up, and I was like, "Okay, you know what, dude? That looks like so much fun. I'm gonna open one up." And so I I went to Target.com, and they were all sold out. So, people, if you can find sports cards, buy it. Right, because you're gonna regret it later when you want to open it, right? So also if you're new to the channel here, I just wanted to let you know that I like to rip my product slowly, right? I like to take my time, I like to enjoy the process, um, because this hobby is expensive and retail product is hard to find at retail prices. And because of that, I feel blessed to be opening up anything. So just wanted to let you guys know I take my time. I if a card or player interests me um, and I want to know more about them, I'll go to my computer and look them up. My computer is right next to me, too. So, all right, let's get going here. J.P. Crawford. J.P., how have you been doing, man? Are you, you're just like above average shortstop, right? Yeah. I, I, yeah, you're just a... You've got the defense. You're just a good, uh, a decent bat here. Jackie Bradley Jr., man, you have been playing for quite a while, haven't you? Yeah, look at those are pretty, those are okay numbers. You know, good, good guy having your team here. And Dennis and Lament. Lament hasn't been pitching for that long. I wonder how he's doing this year, right? I know Darvish just went on the IL, um, which sucks, but that's all right. So, Denison Lamet. Oops. So, Denison Lamet, he's actually on the IL as well. Um, he's had nine game starts this year. He's got a 367 average. Um, two wins, three losses, but I mean, wins and losses are. Those are horrible stats anyways. So, he's doing all right. He's doing okay. They just got to stay healthy, man. The Padres just have to stay healthy. Jose Iglesias. Hold me back, bro. Right? Orioles team card. Right here, we have the Marlins team card. A Quan Hyun Kim. Gold Cup card. How is Quan doing this year? Right? Isn't that Kwon Hyun Kim? I don't know if he's doing that well. He's actually on the 10-day IL as well. He's doing okay. 
You know, he's doing pretty good. 19 starts so far. Oh, my gosh. I freaking hate baseball reference because of all the ads. Um, yeah, 19 starts. He's 6-6. Six six, 336 ERA. That's not too bad. A White Sox team card here. Oh, look at this. Of Adam Wainwright. Oh, look at that. Look at that green. I don't know what you call these. Green, um, I don't know, mirror, green parallels, green foil board, is that what you call them? I think so, green foil boards. That's pretty cool. All right. That's really nice. Sweet. Sleeve that up. Top load that too. May not be worth top loading, but I mean... I don't know, you know, you make your own call if a card is worth top loading or not. You know, this card's out of five ninety nine. Just I mean, dude, just look at Wayne Wright's stats here. Man. Can't can't complain. Can't complain if you have them on your team. So I will actually you know what? I'm probably not gonna. Cause this card's probably gonna go straight to Com C. Um, you're making me some money. All right, we got a home run card of Raphael Devers. This will also go to Comsi, so I'll sleeve that up. Followed by a Luis Robert. Very nice. IPC Luis Robert cards. Because um, they are good cards. Yeah, I'll make that right there. Luis Robert is awesome. This is a 60, hold up, 80, and a 65 throwback. And then we've got his teammate here. He has Monty Grandal, Shed Long, Carlos Santana, who's now with the Royals, which uh, still takes me a little while to get used to. Hmm. You know what? That's so weird that he played one year with the Phillies and then came back to the Indians. It's really interesting. Yeah. But dude, this guy's solid, man. I think he's underrated. All right, and Yanni Chirinos and Daniel Norris. The baseball player that used to live in his van. Yeah, if you don't know anything about that, go ahead and YouTube, you know, Daniel Norris. There's like a, I think a Vice video about him, how he just, he's just a baseball player that makes millions and he just lives in a van. Jason Castro. Adam Duvall. Jacob Stallings. Justin Upton. Check out his stats. He's been all over the place. Yeah. Solid guy. Mike Tochman. We got our sideways cars now. Again, Carlos Stanton, Framil Reyes, Isan Diaz, Ooh, Future Star, Abra Elzale, and we got a green Bryce Harper. Very nice. I never know which way these cards are supposed to go. Is it like that? So it's supposed to go like. Stats are doing this way. So it's supposed to go like this. Right? That's what I thought. Let me see. Let me find a random card here. Alright, let's see if they're facing the right way. Yeah. It's supposed to go this way. Sorry, I can get pretty particular about random things. But yeah, dude, a green, a green Bryce Harper. Very nice. Or maybe this is... Not a green card. I think it might be. I don't know. I remember collecting these as a little kid. Bryce Harper. 70 years at the top. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on to 130 point and just see how much that card is. It's probably nothing. 
I just want to know like if that's like a green parallel or not. 2021 Tops Series 2 70YT-40 Bryce Harper. Let's see what I can find here. Hmm. No results found. Did I type that in right? Series 2 70 Oops, YT, not TY. Bryce Harper. Hmm. Yeah. Oops. I cannot. I cannot type here. I wrote Y. I first wrote 70TY, and then I wrote 70YY. And this time it says 70Y2. So, yeah, the people are saying this is a green. Mm, yeah, some other people are not saying it's green. So I'm going to lean towards it not being a green parallel. So just a regular card there. Uh, Jazz Chisholm, who I PC. And then we've got Randall Grichuk, Cedric Mullins. Cedric made a nice comeback this year. Bubba Starlings, Kenley Jans Jensen, and Jake Cronenworth. Oh man, will you look at that. Now that, that is a nice rookie card to pull. Very excited about that. All right. Yeah, so I'm kind of hoping Target makes gets more giant boxes and makes them more available, but we'll see what happens. Target's been last week. Target dropped had a weird, weird drop. Devin Williams, who I currently PC, especially since this is a Gold Cup. Devin Williams. The um, Brewers have such a solid bullpen this year. Um, Jordan Montgomery, Jose Ramirez, totally underrated guy. I think he's totally underrated. Okay, um, Sin Shu Chu, Ramel, Ramel Tapia, and we've got a uh, Luis Severino. Then an upside down Jonathan Villar. Shane McClanahan rookie card, followed by oh we got a Topps Chrome card, it's a Cincinnati Reds player Tyler Stevenson. Hey, dude, that's nice. I will take that. Followed by Willie Mays. Shades of Willie Mays. Awesome. That was a beautiful looking card here. Topps Chrome um, just got released last week, and so I wonder if like. If this is what Tyler Stevenson's rookie card looks like, because it says Topps Chrome. So I'm like, whenever I see Topps Chrome, I, I'm thinking that's from the Topps Chrome set. But I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to open up some Topps Chrome and see if this card is also um, in Topps Chrome or not. I don't think it is, but I don't know. We got a Willie Mays card here, which uh, will get sent to... Tom C probably. And we got an Alec Bohm. How is Alec Bohm doing? I think the Phillies are in. Are the Phillies in first place still? Right? Let's see. They are not. Oof, man, the NL East. I mean. Yeah, the the Braves are are the Phillies are one and a half games behind, and let's see how Alec Bohm is doing. Yeah, I mean that division, like I don't know, man. Like some 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 teams just hit like really bad streaks, like the Mets or the Braves, and then I think that's how the Phillies kind of got up there. 
All right, so Alec Bohm, he is, this year, he is just doing decent. 250 batting average. That's pretty average. 103 strikeouts, though. Yikes. Um, seven home runs, 91 hits. So he is struggling. I bet he's learning. I hope he keeps learning. Jose Barrios. Oops. Clark Schmidt. Dominic Smith. Jake Woodford. And a Shane Bieber. Very nice. I'm going to move my rookies over here. All right. So we are halfway through this video and I'm at the 15 minute mark. Oh, man. Hey, so, um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching my videos. And I hope you guys are uh, learning stuff and enjoying yourself as well. So we got Danny Jensen. Kyle Tucker. How is Tucker doing? All right. Decent. He's got some speed, I'm guess. I'm guessing. And a little power. And we've got Jason Kipnis. He played with us for a year. Ryan McBroom. Hassan Kim. How is Hassan Kim doing? I know Tatis just came back and hit two home runs on Sunday. And I know Kim was struggling for a little bit. So I'm going to look it up. Hassan Kim. So Hassan Kim. He's got an interesting contract. I think his contract states that he can't get sent to um, the minor leagues. Which is interesting. But yeah, he's struggling still. Hitting 207. Six home runs. 56 strikeouts, uh, 45 hits. Still struggling, but that's all right. Baseball stuff, man. Johan Ramirez, Luan Diaz, Jonathan Arauz, wait, Arauz, Arau, Arauz, Julian Merriweather, and we got Juan Soto. Um, target insert card here. Followed by a Clayton Kershaw. I forget, is that a 65? Yep, very cool. Yandy Diaz, Nick Castellanos, right there. Decent. This guy's solid. This guy's a solid player, man. I wonder what his contract was like. I know he signed with the Reds. Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos, yeah, he is, he sounds like a four-year, $64 million contract, and so he's with the Reds until 2024. Good for him, man. He's been a huge asset to them. Alex Colom and Adam Wainwright. I wish Castellanos was with the Cubs still, and that we would send down, I don't know, David Bodie or... Yeah, probably David Booty. But you know what? We've got a lot of young guys that we have to give some opportunities to. to so, uh, I guess it's okay we don't have them right now. Future stars Nick Solak. Brian Anderson. Hey, Braylon Marquez for the PC. Followed by a Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Jed Yurko. I forget. I forget. I forgot that Jeff's Jed Yurko's on their team. Mhm. Mm Good bench player, William Contreras. Wilson Contreras' his younger brother. Ooh, and got another Philly rookie here, Mickey Maniac. I think Maniac's been like destroying the minor leagues. Um, ooh, Dalton Jeffries. Here we go. Like this guy. And then we got Trevor Bauer. Followed by a Taylor Wildener. Widener. 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 Let's go Widener. Followed by a Luis Garcia. 
who I am going to bar PC. We got Miguel Cabrera, 65. Throw back here. Very nice. I'll let you, Darvish. Donovan Solano. Cole Hamels. Brian Reynolds. And Cole Calhoun. Cole Calhoun. Who's that um, Diamondbacks player that that just threw that no hitter? What's his name? What's his name? Diamondbacks no hitter. Tyler Gilbert. Tyler Gilbert, not Taylor Widener. Widener. Congrats to Tyler Gilbert, man. Throws a no-hitter in his first career start. When does he pitch again? I wonder when he pitches again. Tyler Gilbert. Let's go see. Um, let's see. Diamondbacks schedule. So, let me see. Tyler Gilbert. I don't know. I don't know when he pitches again, but Hopefully he does well. Trevor Story. Followed by Hyun Jin Ryu, who's quite underrated. Jason Hayward for the PC. Justin Sl Austin Slater. Chris Sale, who came back and I think he struck out like nine people in his first game. Jordan Weems. Cool card. And well, wow, Ryan Jeffers. Is Ryan Jeffers still playing? Did he get injured? I think he's playing still. The Twins have been on this hot streak. I gotta catch up with them. Because they did really well against um, the Astros and the White Sox recently. Yeah, so Jeffers is doing yeah, he's doing okay. He's batting 214. Hmm. On base percentage of 294. All right. Hey, Shirt and Apostle. This is a guy I've been wanting to PC. And that's why I bought this giant box to get good rookie cards like Shirt and Apostle. I'll put him above Taylor there. We got Raphael Marcon. And we got another. Oh, this is a cutout card of Vladimir Guerrero. So I'll probably send that to Com C as well. Followed by, oh, look at that. Another Tyler Stevenson's Stevenson rookie card throwback 65. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should put these cards in like this. There we go. Tyler Stevenson. Uh, I'll sleeve up this. I don't collect Tyler Stevenson's, but, um, but because this is a insert, Robbie Grossman, Corey Seager, Gary Sanchez, Ender, Ender Incarte, and Beady Gregorius like kicking somebody. It's hilarious. Sweet. Two more packs. And then I'll do a quick recap of both of, not both, of the whole giant box. So. Maybe I can get an auto, please. Probably won't, but it's all right. Will Myers, Trey Mancini, Joe Musgrove, Christian Walker, Ramon Loriano, followed by Matt Foster, rookie card, JT Brubaker, rookie card, Elvis Anders. And a Zach McKinstry rookie card followed by a Brady Singer rookie card. Very nice. And behind Brady, we've got Ronald Acuna Jr. Very nice for the PC. Oh, man. I'll sleeve up. I'm not collecting Brady Singer, but um, that's an insert of Brady Singer. So I will sleeve him up. And Acuna for the PC. We got Mike Soraco, Sorak, Soroka, whoops, whoops, Zach Eflin, Christian Arroyo, Matt Watson, and Jose Abreu. 
Here's the Braves numbers if you're interested. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good numbers. All right. Two, oh wait, last pack. Last pack. All right, here we go. Last pack, and then I'll do a recap for us. And then I'll see you guys on Monday. I'm going to take the weekend off. Uh, for a while there, I was doing content almost every single day. Jared Wash. Um, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to... I got to focus on some other stuff that's really important. And so I'm just going to do five videos a day. Marcus Stroman. The Leno of the Shields. TJ Antone. Followed by Keegan Akin. Jonathan Stever, Zach and Birdie. Man, how many pitchers do the White Sox have? Tucker Davidson. Ooh, and look at that. Out of 2021, we got Kyle Tucker. Right there. Shipping that to Com C. Got a Juan Soto insert. And we all got a Garrett Cole throwback card. I gotta find out how much Garrett Cole's spin rate dropped. I've always been interested in that. Jake Fraley, Carlos Carrasco, Jose Martinez, Jonathan Shoup, and Rowdy Telez. Man, everyone loves Rowdy Telez. Everyone loves these big guys. That's cool that he, uh, he's from Elk Grove, California. That's where my in-laws are. But, yeah. Um, let me see here. Let me look at my cards. I'm going to PC pile. Got Jeffers. Jeffries. Um. Got Kim. Oh, that's a nice card. That jazz. Yeah. So I'll take these two. Our awesome cards. With the Jake Cronenworth. Got that nice card there. Shirt and Apostle. Look at that. I also got that Tyler Stevenson. So those are the big hits from this box. And then let me look at my hits from my previous. From the first half of the box. All right. So we got a Severino, Corey Dickerson, and then here we go. We got a Brian Hayes, Alex Kirilov, another Alex Kirilov, Dylan, Bobby, foil of um, Miguel. We got Trevor Rogers. Yeah, so man, I can't complain, man. This is a solid, solid box because I got so many good rookies out of here all right i mean let's look at these rookies again we got jazz jake cronenworth bohm shirt and apostle not you you're not a rookie cabrian kirloff kirloff uh carlson dahlbeck trevor rogers i would say the top rookies i would be yeah if i was gonna order them I don't know. I know for sure he might win Rookie of the Year. But I would say for sure Cabrian, Alex Kirilov, Cronenworth, Jazz Chisholm, Alec Bohm. And, man, um, if you can get some Dylan Carlson's and Bobby Dahlbeck's in your giant box, that'd be awesome as well. And these are also two guys that I'm um, kind of high on. Shirtin Apostle and Trevor Rogers. So, yeah, guys, can't complain. Right? That's a good box. That is a good giant box. Um, giant boxes cost about 40 bucks off retail. And, yeah, you know, I think if you're looking for base cards, um, yeah, I think I would just go ahead and buy three giant boxes um, as opposed to buying, like, a hobby box. Um, but if you're like, you know what, I don't need all the base cards, um and I want some signatures, I want some patches, 
then yeah, get the hobby box. I, I, you know, honestly, I think it's a win-win situation here. You just got to figure out what product you need, right? So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about this hobby that I love so much. Um, you know, if you liked the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click on the bell so that you know when I'll upload more videos. Uh, and remember uh, to enjoy this amazing hobby the way you want to. All right, don't let anyone tell you how to enjoy it. Uh, I hope you are all able to get your hands on some product and that your polls are absolutely amazing. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.